All right, guys, so this is the new little project we have. This is a 2007 Rhino 450 we got for a really, really, really good price. We just could not pass this thing up. As you can see, it needs tires all the way around. That's one good tire. And he also hit a tree with it, so that kind of sucks. But this quad, which side by side, does run. Uh, we were able to fire it up and stuff, but has a few issues. One being the wiring. I did take this out to kind of look at it. The wiring is destroyed. The mice got into it. So my wife is actually going to redo some of the wiring on this. Yeah, you can see the mice got in there. So we cleaned this out a little bit, just hosed it out. Quad does fire up, does run. Uh, I keep saying quad side by side does fire up does run but it does not move at all i am not really familiar with these i know they have this what is it all traumatic transmission i know they do have cvd cvt with a belt i'm hoping the belt's broke but i did do a little research and i guess they have like a wet clutch system in them and that is what could be bad i'm not sure we're going to jump into it this is just an intro video to it i want to kind of give you guys a, a look at it All right, so we got the seats off, the uh, cover out, and now we can look at the engine compartment here. So the engine actually faces backwards. That's the front, obviously. That's the back. So it faces backwards. Here's the intake carburetor. We can see that uh, it needs a good cleaning, probably new gasket set, um, just clean it all out. But right here is what we're interested in. This is where the clutch is at. Um, the primary, secondary, and then the, uh, again, I'm not super familiar with these, but I think the wet clutches up in here runs right off like the crank. Around that area, I'm not sure at all. Haven't messed with one of these. So what we're going to do is take, uh, well, this one's not even hooked up. That's nice. Saves me a couple seconds. Uh, take the intake and exhaust off of these and uh, rip this cover off. You can see the belt still on. I was hoping that it broke. It'd be a cheap little easy hundred dollar fix. That's good. This spins one way, but catches the other. So it seems like there's like a one way bearing in it. it seems to be working. But I'm guessing uh, that it is the uh, the clutch on the inside because I gotta rip this off, rip the belt off, and then get into uh, the wet clutch and see what we're looking at. So we got the primary off and they had a nest in here for sure. So now I think all we got to do is uh, drain the oil out. We're going to change the oil anyways. And then you take these uh, what are they, eight mils and take these out around the outside here. And this whole thing should pull out. So let's drain the oil out and see what we can find. All right, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. We got right to this part. Now I got to put it all back together because the sun's going down and it's getting freezing outside. But if you guys have any input on these, I know I kind of ran back inside, did a little research, and I have some measurements to measure the clutch packs, but I was doing a little research and they said do not use those cheap 
like eBay special ones and use the Yamaha ones. So if you guys have any input, leave them in the comment section below. As always, God bless.